But <laughs> Fujimura and Angry Bird. This is going to be an incredible battle. So, such different styles of play. Yeah. Fujimura is such a rigid by the numbers, you know, fantastic yeah. player, very scientific, very calculated. Angry Bird is just, flo he just flows with Ken. Yeah. But he has also done his due diligence. His situational knowledge of Street Fighter VI is unbelievable. Right, right. The amount of games was, that he plays with his partner, he was my his pick sense. to win the whole thing. So hopefully I don't right. jinx him. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I mean, we'll, we'll see. It uh, is the mirror though, so you know it's, it, it can be explosive. I'm also very surprised very that Fujimura has been uh, committing to Ken. Like I totally understand that he's been one to kind of uh, float amongst the top tiers. Uh, but I also thought, you know, perhaps Luke or Cammy would have been like uh, his go-to considering how he performed in Street Fighter Five towards the end of the game, right? All of the things I said about Goichi definitely apply to Fujimura as well. So yeah. I think Chun-Li would be a very good pick for him in terms of, you know, getting the most out of a character when you have fantastic situational awareness. When, you're, when you have a mastery of the tools um, and you can just squeeze the most out of every situation. But he is here having a great time with Ken. There's so many of these Japanese players are. And as you had previously mentioned, it's going to be the Karen Mirror match. <coughs> For those just following along, this is now what the winner's side. Yeah, so this will get them into top six. These are qualification matches for the main arena tomorrow. The big open air down below, the fourth horse going to be Apocalypse, one of them being crouching media taking to the drive run. Leads the situation, watch out for the... Oh, loops. A little reluctancy, I think. Yeah, I like that. You know, he's got a big life lead. He's got a big drive gauge lead as well. So he doesn't have to go in. Beautiful punish on the medium kick on block. Love that too. Amateur! Amateur! Not face style, how do you like it? Not just then. He wasn't ready for the DI! Oh, and they're both baiting each other out. We were talking about that flow state earlier, right? Playing by his heart in comparison to somebody who plays it by the book. Yeah. Perfect carry, two in a row, but the ODDP straight through the fireball. Fujimura looking very comfortable again. Calls out the button press. That time after the stand fierce. The chili! Oh, oh my jab. god, Fujimura calling out everything! Optimal double lights! Let's go for the follow up, bro. Level 3 is on deck. If he launches it now, it's not gonna kill. That's fine, he's saving it for a big blow. Wait a minute, forward throw again. Huge life lead here. Break tech though. Fujimura, yeah. Perfect parry into drive impact. What's it gonna be? Side switch back into the corner, spends no resources. Oh, oh my you lord! You had to see it coming. You had to see it coming. There is a significant gap between that into the Jinrai. And of course, it is Fujimura using Dragon Lash Super. Lights are neutral, very tense as Fujimura needs one more. Playing his spot. Now, I have seen. Uh, Angry Bird lose the mirror match before against a high-level Japanese player. He lost it to Kido uh, in a team tournament with him, uh, just before Red Bull Fumite. I was quite surprised at how that matchup went. This is very similar, where he's just getting caught out, he's getting red quite a lot, but there we go, that time he does call out the throw bait. He calls out the wake-up super as well. We've got corner carry with a life lead. Big drive gauge lead as well. He's in burnout, Jesus. and there is the wall splat. He's going to be able to get the kill here as well. Spends all of the drive gauge to do it without having to resource. With the super. Very impressive round from Angry Bird. Checks though with the stand jab. Great range on that. Okay, I like this. Getting started in the corner yet again. The roundhouse yeah. of the check. Fujimura becoming a little bit predictable with the parries, perhaps. Yes. Oh my god, that trade combo was clean was as hell. So How was he ready for that? Clip that, please. We need that for research. Ah, oh, now time to maybe cross cut, huh? Spin up here on the Dragon Lash. You heard the flash of the parry as well. Huge for Angry Bird. Momentum wise, life lead. Nice you could spend it all if you He's going to cash out. He's got the level three. Here we go. You got it. Bringing the heat. Good Angry 
Bird. Coming right back to him. Fujimura, as you mentioned a little bit earlier, a little bit predictable on his movement and his defensive options. I'm not gonna lie, it's insane that this is the two sets, because this game runs so fast. These two games have gone by in a blink of an eye. It's incredible, you know? I mean, with full consideration, most of the time we have a top eight. Three, three out of five, right? Yeah. I'm going out this time around. I think all of top eight will still be three out of five. Right? Okay. CPT rules. Okay. Nice. Confirms the medium kick. Oh, no. Does he have a drive rush follow-up, though? That's a interesting intro. Man, what is happening in terms of momentum here? What is it about Angry Bird that, that makes it feel like Fujimura looks a little bit lost in the headlights? It's headlight. that And again, Angry Bird's got such great knowledge of this game, and he's so adept, uh, 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 sorry, adept at pulling out your, your patterns. Uh, yes. We saw in that first game, you know, Fujimura was having fantastic success. So many different looks, too, to yeah, keep it ambiguous. He was having fantastic success with the parry, but now he can't react to any of the things that Angry Bird's thrown at him. But he does get the side switch, and he goes for the DP with the knockdown, walks up the fist oh, with yes. Punish into the Punish counter, but the back throw gives delay. Angry Bird the full screen to work with. Fujimura's trying to play out maybe, what, phase two of his offense, trying to catch maybe delayed buttons from Angry Bird, heads wide, heads to for a counter. Yeah. But, but who knows? Like, oh, oh yeah. Man. Side glitch. Yeah. Oh, okay, never mind. Carry. I decide. Oh, oh no! Oh. Can't do much about that in burnout. Perhaps maybe a super, but it's still tough. And we got it anyway! And that's all the way, baby! Stay down. Sit down and shut up! Damn. Oh, wait a minute. No, 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 no,